Well, on Sunrise and streaming on CrossroadsToday.com, honoring America's fallen on Memorial Day and the Crossroads local veteran organizations gathered in remembrance for Memorial Day for an address in downtown Victoria. And in Iowa, a remarkable rescue 24 hours after a six-story apartment building partially collapsed. Two people, however, are still believed to be inside of the building. Rescue operations are underway. Also, Ukrainian forces say they shot down a barrage of missiles in Kyiv Monday morning as Russia launched another intensifying assault. We have the details on this story and more straight ahead. Already seeing a few rain showers this morning, especially along the coast. You see there, and that's south of Port Lavaca and Palacios area of Port O'Connor. Rain chances increasing in the inland areas later on today. What about rain chances for the rest of the week? We'll take a look at that possibility coming up in the full forecast. You're watching 25 News Now Sunrise. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Carolina Astra and today is the 30th day of May 2023. The time is now 631 on your Tuesday morning and on this day in 1909, American jazz musician and band leader Benny Goodman was born. He's also known as the King of Swing. Let's go ahead and turn to First Run Storm team meteorologist Trey Mining. Trey, are you a fan of Benny Goodman? Oh yes, excellent. excellent. Yes, he's fantastic. Just the classic jazz stuff there in the first part of the uh, last century. Of course, it's always classics. It's always something we'll listen to, and something that always live forever is good music. That's my motto. And looking at a few rain showers this morning near Port Lavaca and just south of Port O'Connor. Let's zoom in on these a little bit more. Seeing now just south of the uh, coastline from Port O'Connor, moving toward Port O'Connor here, if it, it holds together. One small rain shower there near Point Comfort. They'll be increasing throughout the days in the inland areas as we get the daytime heating going and the moisture in place is already there definitely. And the lift of the atmosphere due to that daytime heating will get a few more rain showers going in around the region. Maybe a rumble of thunder in that mix too. Current temperatures in the 70s, mid to upper 70s along the immediate coast, specifically Port Lavaca, Port O'Connor, Sea Drift down to Rockport area. From Victoria northward away from the coastal zones, a little bit drier area in place, and so the temperature is a little bit cooler, 68 degrees in Victoria, and mid to upper 60s coming in from Quero area to Yoakum, up there in Hallisville, and Gonzales area stretching on down to Beeville and down to near Refugio. So definitely a hot and humid morning and hot and humid throughout the day. And just enough ingredients there, just enough for a rain shower storm to pop on through. Feel like temperature when you add the uh, humidity and the uh, air temperature into the mix, what it feels like on the outside. By the time we get to 12 noon, well into the 80s, near 90 degrees or so coming up by four o'clock in the afternoon. So this is getting near the category where you should be aware if you're working outside for any length of time to stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, find some shade and be careful on the outside because temperatures like this can quickly overheat you and that will not be a good thing, of course. Rain chances today, tomorrow, no rain chances. Why? We'll take a look at that in the full forecast to come later on this half hour, Carolina. Thank you, Trey. Monday, we recognize those who gave the ultimate sacrifice to protect our country. The day brought veteran organizations from across the region together for a Memorial Day address in remembrance. Speaking at the ceremony was Brigadier General Clint Anderson. He moved to Victoria several years ago from Arlington, Virginia. He gives fellow veterans this advice when it becomes difficult to think about those who didn't make it back home. They, they, they need to remember people sacrificed for them and uh, to, to, to drive on. You don't, don't, don't take a shortcut. You know, think about their lives and, and Alvin the, cer D. the ceremony also included a placing of the wreaths, 13 in total, each representing an area veteran organization. Les Weaver, the Victoria County Veteran Council Chairman, gave the opening remarks and led the Pledge of Allegiance, which was followed by a powerful performance of the national anthem by Kevin Gaskin. At the Warriors Weekend Field of Honor, locals gathered for a flag retirement ceremony. It was hosted by Colonel Mike Petrosh and Brother Gary Moses. And during the ceremony, local veterans were accompanied by local Boy Scouts, creating a meaningful atmosphere. This gesture showcased the inner generational bond and respect for those who have bravely served this country. 
President Joe Biden honored America's fallen service members Monday. He marked the 155th observance of Memorial Day with the long-held tradition of laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier in Arlington National Cemetery. He later lauded the sacrifice of generations of U.S. troops who died fighting for their country during an address at the ceremony's Memorial Amphitheater. Biden added, quote, we must never forget the lives that these flags, flowers, and marble markers represent. And every year we remember, and every year it never gets easier. Now to the apartment building collapse in Davenport, Iowa. A woman pulled from the rubble last night more than 24 hours after a section of the building came crashing down. Her rescue came just as crews were preparing to demolish the building. Person found alive in the rubble after an apartment building partially collapsed in Davenport, Iowa, possibly delaying plans to demolish the building later today. New video shows rescuers pulling a woman to safety last night. More than 24 hours after a section of the building sheared away. At this time, the building is structurally unsound. It's believed two more people may still be in the building. A woman tells the Quad City Times her cousin is missing. The newspaper reports police pinged his phone to his apartment before it shut off. And another family at the scene says they believe their loved one is still inside. Yesterday, officials cleared the building for demolition, saying they believe the building was empty after crews spent hours searching. Because of the concern for life by our first responders to get in the building knowing that that building was unsafe to help folks. Because of that, they save lives. But now plans to demolish the building today are reportedly under evaluation. And y'all just standing there! Meanwhile, protesters are gathering at the scene, angry over the city's plan to demolish the building just two days after the collapse, calling it a hasty decision. The cause of the collapse, meanwhile, is under investigation. City officials had ordered the owners to make fixes to the building after a string of complaints. Resident Linnea Hoover recently took this picture after she saw bricks falling during the repair work. What were some of the problems that you were seeing? The big one is leakage, plumbing leakage, um, sewage leakage in the building. There would be giant holes in the hallway where water would leak through. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. A new wave of powerful explosions struck central Kyiv Monday. Air raid sirens wailed and explosions could be heard in the Ukrainian capital as residents rushed to bomb shelters in nearby subway stations. Ukrainian military leaders say a total of 11 land-based ballistic and cruise missiles were launched at the Kyiv region. They say all of them were, shut, were shot down. Debris from intercepted missiles fell in Kyiv's capital keep central and northern districts landing on roads and parks. People in New York got a peek at a once-of-a-kind solar phenomena. Manhattan Henge dazzled onlookers in the streets of the city Monday evening. It happens when the setting sun aligns with the Manhattan street grid and bathes in the urban canyons in a rosy glow. Unlike the Neolithic Stonehenge builders, the planners who laid out Manhattan did not mean to channel the sun. The stunning alignment happens twice a year, about three weeks before the summer solstice and again about three weeks after. The time is now 6.38 on your Tuesday morning. Here's a look at what's coming up on 25 News Now Sunrise. Thai authorities say a former Canadian soldier was extradited to Thailand. As the President and House Speaker drum up support for their debt ceiling deal, there are already signs of pushback. I'm ABC's Justin Finch with what's fueling the friction. Looking at the picture tracker zoomed out throughout the entire state of Texas, including our region here. So the winds coming in off the Gulf of Mexico, keeping the humidity quite high. Rain showers today, but not tomorrow. What about that? And what about rain chances coming back toward the end of the week? Could that be a possibility? We'll take a look in your full forecast. 25 News Now brings you Storm Prep 2023. Your first Warren Storm Team will take us through this year's hurricane predictions. Chief Meteorologist Mac Perez speaks with descendants of Indianola, a town that was wiped out from back-to-back -back hurricanes. Adarius McCormick explains just how simple evacuating really is. June 5th on KAVU-TV at 6.30 p.m. Storm Prep 2023. Stream it live or on demand on Crossroads Today Plus. View it and our Crossroads Today YouTube page.
And good morning, good morning. It's 19 minutes away from the 7 a.m. hour. Take a look at the water vapor imagery that shows us where the areas in the atmosphere have uh, abundant moisture and areas in the atmosphere that are mostly dry. Let's see the dry air here. Easy to see that from San Antonio westward. We look at the last few frames. It's getting closer to us, and this will be over our area for coming up for your day tomorrow, cutting off the rain chances, but not today. It's staying out to the west with instability in place, with the moisture in place, and the dry air still to the west. We have a few rain showers popping going through the area throughout the day today, about a 30 to percent chance or so. Maybe a rumble of thunder with that. How much rain can you expect? Well, not really too much overall. And the chances are pretty small as well. Most areas will remain dry. But if you're lucky enough to get a rain shower or storm in your neighborhood, you can expect less than a tenth of an inch as you run this all the way through your Wednesday at 10 a.m. rain cut off by then. So slight rain chances today. And more rain chances to come, though, so there's a little bit more hope if you need some rain in your neighborhood. We'll see when that will be coming up later in the full seven-day outlook. Carolina? The race to avert what the White House calls a catastrophic default is underway in Washington. Congress members are returning from their Memorial Day recess today to begin taking up the debt ceiling deal. The president and House Speaker are pressing their parties to pass the measure quickly, but some lawmakers are pushing back. From the White House to Capitol Hill, a joint effort to win bipartisan backing for the debt ceiling compromise brokered by House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and President Joe Biden. Well, I feel very good about it. I've spoken to a number of the members. The president sounding confident after calls to Congress members, including Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell. A White House official telling ABC News the administration is working the phones with senior staff and cabinet officials calling more than 60 House Democrats since Saturday. At the Capitol, Speaker McCarthy working to whip up Republican support. I think it's good for the American public. You're going to have Republicans and Democrats be able to move this to the president. But already, at least 10 House Republicans are leaning towards or are planning to vote no, arguing the bill doesn't cut enough federal spending. And progressive Democrat leader Pramila Jayapal worries the cuts are too deep. The 99-page deal would suspend the $31 trillion debt ceiling until January 1st, 2025 and lock in new non-defense spending restraints. The agreement claws back $30 billion in COVID funding, rescinds $20 billion of IRS funding, expands work requirements for some Americans on food assistance, ends the federal student loan payments pause in August and preserves Social Security, Medicaid and veterans benefits. The bill does not include tax increases for the wealthiest Americans or big corporations, which Democrats wanted. A tight timeline now for Congress. The deal is on track for a House vote Wednesday, then off to the Senate, where it could find friction. The deadline June 5th, when the Treasury Secretary warns the U.S. risks default. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Leading us to your viewer poll, do you approve of the debt ceiling deal made by Biden and McCarthy? Okay, let's take a look. 43% of you say yes, and 57% of you say no. We want to keep hearing from you. Come to crossroadstoday.com slash vote to take part in our viewer poll. You can also scan the QR code right there on your screen. First responders were dispatched to a crash Sunday afternoon on Highway 59 near Inez. It was a single vehicle crash and one person, the only person in the vehicle was hurt. Authorities say that the person was extracted and transported to an area hospital. The crash happened just after 3 p.m. Sunday. Crash reports say the vehicle slid off the roadway and into the brush. The crash shut down the right lane of the highway while crews worked to clear the scene. The crash site was clear and roadways were reopened by 4.30 that afternoon. The Lavaca Medical Center was under threat Thursday night. Hallettesville police say a terroristic threat was made by phone. First reports of the threat were made to police dispatch at around 9.50 p.m. Authorities were able to identify the caller through a thorough investigation and that person was taken into custody. The caller was arrested on an emergency detention warrant for mental health evaluation. Charges for terroristic threat against the caller are pending at this time. An investigation determined there was no immediate threat to the hospital or the public. The time is now 6.45 on your Tuesday morning, still to come. Several people, including a one-year-old, hospitalized after a shooting on Florida's Hollywood Beach boardwalk. Time to celebrate some birthdays. Happy birthday to Uriah. Happy 13th birthday, Uriah. We love you.
And also, happy birthday to Michelle. Happy 50th birthday from your husband, kids, and grandkids. We love you. And singer, actress, and Frozen star, don't forget about Rent and Wicked, Idina Menzel with a birthday today. She's 52. And to see your birthday wish live on 25 News Now Sunrise, come to CrossroadsToday.com, click on More and Under Home, to see the KVU submit your birthday. The time is now 646 on your Tuesday morning. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Good morning, good morning. It's just about 10 minutes away from the 7 a.m. hour. And looking at the satellite radar composite, a few rain showers, one near Point Comfort, near Port Lavaca, and out in the Gulf of Mexico currently. But as the sun rises high in the atmosphere, of course, we'll have better daytime heating because of that. Moisture already in place, more lift in the atmosphere caused by the daytime heating. We'll be able to uh, create a few rain showers here and there throughout the day today. And tomorrow will be cut off because of dry air currently to our west and move on through. That'll give us dry conditions for the day tomorrow, so the best chance of rain will be today. You see here the model run keeps it fairly consistent with that from Victoria along the eastern parts of the Crossroads area toward Houston. Will be the best probability of rain today. Nothing is widespread or as, as, as uh, big as that model represented. It's just kind of an area where the best likelihood of a storm will pop up. 87 degrees today. Part of cloudy skies, isolated rain shower storm possible throughout the day. Overnight lows will be 68 degrees, mostly clear and humid. For day tomorrow, high temperatures near the 9 degree mark. Sunny skies and keeping it hot. Stay cool, everybody. Keep that highs near 90 degrees for the next seven days. Lows near 70. Rain chances after today coming back into the area by Saturday.
And now it's time for today's question of the day. 54% of Americans have no idea how to change this on their car. What is it? Like us on Facebook Crossroads today. Post your guess to today's question. We'll have the answer later on Sunrise. Thai authorities are saying a former Canadian soldier was extradited to Thailand. This in connection with the killing of a gang member last year. In visuals released by police, Mathieu Dupree was seen being escorted by members of the Central Investigation Bureau Sunday, the 38-year-old is charged with the murder of a member of the United Nations gang. Thai police say the country sent in its own plane to bring back Dupree. This after commercial airlines declined requests for transport over safety concerns. In Canada, thousands of people are on the move in Nova Scotia because of a fast moving wildfire. At least two wildfires are burning out of control. Canadian authorities are offering residents forced to evacuate $500. Tim Houston is the current premier in Nova Scotia. He said Monday the province is working with the Red Cross to distribute the money. He said the payment can ease some of the financial stress evacuees are experiencing. Meantime, firefighters are working around the clock to try and contain the massive wildfires. Still to come on Sunrise News to know before you go, at least four people hurt after a vehicle was set on fire in Southeast D.C. Monday. Today's question of the day, we want to know. 54% of Americans have no idea how to change this on their car. What is it? Okay, Trey, we got all change. Windshield wipers, flat tire, windshield wipers, turn signal fluid, radio station, air filter. Oh, the air filter and tire. Lots of guesses for tire. You know, I'm sure all these qualify, and I think they pretty much all qualify. But, of course, we're looking for one specific thing. And ready for the answer? The answer? It is da -da -da -da, windshield wipers. Oh, windshield wipers. You know, I don't think I've done that myself, Trey. I've had a friend do that for me. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little lesson here. Free of charge, you pull the old windshield wipers away from the windshield, you slip the old ones off, put the new ones on where it goes, put the windshield wipers back on the glass at your windshield. So there you go. If, <laughs> tips from Trey, <laughs> free from me to you. So. And maybe, maybe some areas are using those windshield wipers coming up later on today with some scattered rain showers and storms. Outside of that, well, I gave you a lesson there for weather a little bit later on. Carolina?
Several people, including a one-year-old, are hospitalized after a shooting on Florida's Hollywood Beach boardwalk. City Tower cameras caught people fleeing about the time shots were fired. Police say when they arrived on scene, nine people were hurt by gunfire and later transported to local hospitals. Four of the injured were minors, and the rest ranged in age from 25 to 65. One of those hurt was in surgery late Monday night. The rest were in stable condition. Investigators believe shots were initially fired after an argument between two groups of people. Witnesses say it was a frightening scene. At least four people were hurt after a vehicle was set on fire in Southeast DC on Monday. Authorities were called to the scene of 4th Street just after 6 p.m. for a report of a vehicle on fire. They arrived to find a man, a woman, and two young children inside of the burning car. All four of the individuals were taken to a local hospital where the man remains in critical condition. The woman and the two young children appear to have minor injuries. Authorities were able to extinguish the fire. They say the fire was intentionally set by a woman who is currently in custody. It is unknown why the woman set the car on fire. The governor of Nevada declaring a state of emergency Monday due to the snow melt flooding across the northern parts of the state. Governor Joe Lombardo says the unprecedented snowmelt is causing mudslides from water runoff, threatening to overwhelm the region's infrastructure, rivers, and reservoirs. Lombardo says the emergency declaration will allow the state to receive federal assistance to protect citizens, implement repairs, and prevent further flooding. The emergency declaration could be amended to include additional areas in the coming days. As recent snowmelt projections estimate an additional seven weeks of regional flooding impacts. The bridge at FM 1686 at Lone Tree Creek will close for construction in June. That's in Victoria County. Texas is beginning a new project to replace the existing bridge. Construction is expected to take about seven months. Drivers are urged to seek alternate routes. FM 1686 at Draw is also part of road closures in June. Due to the bridge replacement, that road is expected to close for one week. We want to invite you to experience our digital streaming service, Crossroads Today Plus. You can find it on your connected TV through Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and on your cell phone. Just search Crossroads Today Plus. And we have a final, we have time for a final check of that forecast with Trey. Trey did a lot of bike riding this weekend. Am I, am I going to be able to keep up my streak? <laughs> you should be able to, but drink plenty of water, take the water with you because it's definitely going to be hot outside when you're bike riding no matter what day it is and today though we're looking at a few rain showers popping up in the daytime heating portion of the day in the afternoon it's all gone by the time we get to the sunset hour and after that so slight rain chance today and we'll be drier tomorrow with dry air moving in 87 degrees i say the storm possible in the afternoon the best chances to experience that one night lows in the upper 60s mostly clear skies for your day tomorrow no rain Hot though, near 90 degrees. Index values above 90 degrees during the afternoon tomorrow and today. Extended forecast highs in the upper 80s near 90. Lows near 70 degrees. Rain chances coming back for the weekend after today, so keep that in mind. Outside of that, try your best to stay cool and safe out there, Carolina. Trey, and thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful month, a wonderful Tuesday, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crossroads Today, and join James. Don, Mac, Karina, and Gino today for 25 News Now at 5, 6, and 10. Make it a great Tuesday.